So the first method I'm going to show you how, how to actually create this pocket is from a part spiral and then what we're going to do is take that spiral, duplicate it up, um, change the rotations on it so we actually get both sides of the spiral and then we convert that to a sketch. We then have an open sketch which we need to actually close. So we'll merge that sketch together, close the sketch and then we've got a closed sketch which we can use on our block to actually pocket or pad into the actual uh, piece of base stock as you can see see here and you can see that I've got a number of objects now I've got a, got a spiral, two spirals for either side those spirals have been converted to a sketch those spirals would, would have been then if I go to my pocket, this sketch here is the actual closed sketch that's been used as a pocket against a normal square pad from another sketch. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to start by creating a new project and I'm going on to the part, not the part design, the part and I want the create creation of parameterized geometric primitives there and click on that and we drop this down and click our spiral click create and that's create our spiral there let's close that and I find it's always better to edit the spiral from actually clicking on the spiral and changing the rotations and the radius here so I'm going to add a few more rotations to it and I'm going to bring the growth down a bit and we'll be changing the radius with our copy of the spiral to make two sides because we need a closed sketch. We can't pad this at the moment because it's too well, it's too thin. So it probably won't allow it because it's not a closed sketch. So I'm just gonna click on the spiral, right click on that, oops, right click on the spiral, go down to copy. Now if you try right click and paste it won't work, so just press Ctrl and V wise in here. So we've got our second spiral now, and now we can change the radius of that to actually create the other side of the actual spiral. So I'm going to go for that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Not worrying about the millimeter size, this is just to show you how to do it. Now I've created those two spirals, now I've got to get those into the draft workbench. Let's jump over to the draft workbench, click onto the two spirals, go up to draft, and then go to draft to sketch. So now those two spirals there have been converted to sketches. Now just highlight those two spirals and press space and that will make them disappear. So I've changed the visibility of those spirals. And we've got the two sketches here. Now we need the sketch in one, so because if I try to draw a line, I won't be able to actually constrain these into one sketch. So I need this sketch as one to allow for any padding or any pocketing. So we make a close sketch. So that's quite easy to do if we jump over to the sketcher. Click both the sketches. So we're in the sketch workbench, click both the sketches, press and hold down, hold down shift, select them both and then what you do is go to sketch and go to merge sketches and that's merged those two sketches into one and create a new sketch there so I'm going to take those two sketches again hit space and those are, those are now invisible you can delete these now if you so desire our sketch is, is there now we, what we want to do is create the line between these to close these sections so double click your sketch otherwise you won't get these tools up here so as you can see this there's our sketch in here and what we need is a line between those two points and those two points let's actually create a line now what I'm going to do is hit escape I'm going to create a line outside the green so you can actually see it Hit escape again and I can click one point 
then click the other and can I constrain them from that distance? Yes I can, but that's going to move that over. So I'm going to have to move this line into position now. Oops, it's almost dead on. Can't see that. And highlight those two. So using click and drag to highlight those two and constrain those. And do the same here. Highlight those two, constrain them. And we should have a constrained object there. As you can see, that's constrained. Let's just get control Z to undo that. And I'm going to do the same here. Put that close. Highlight those two, constrain them. Put that close. Highlight the two. Oops. Try that again. Come on. And constrain those. So that's all constrained up now. I can check that. Yep. Control Z, Control Z to bring that back in. And we'll close that. So that sketch is now, should be all closed. You can obviously select the signs of it. Now, what we're going to do now is create the body. So jump over to the part design, create the body, which is good. Don't want to create a sketch because I've already got the sketch. Go back to model, and we're going to drop this sketch into the body. And let's zoom in on this sketch. Okay, so I want to place a square around here. So click on body, click on sketch, and on the XY plane, because we're looking down on there, let's zoom out. So I can select the eye of the XY plane from here, or I can click on it here. So if I click on the other planes, it will change in this side. That's what I plane. Okay, that. And I'm just going to put a square around there, which I'm going to pad into. Uh, sorry, pocket into. And close that. And I'm just going to pad that now. Give it some arbitrary value there. So I've gone for 12 mil. It's not really working scale. So my sketch is on the bottom at the moment so I can actually either pad into, sorry, um, pocket into this if I so desire from here or I can move the sketch and attach it to a different face. So I'm going to drop this sketch into the body now and what I'm going to do is click on the sketch and map mode deactivated so I'm going to map it to the face, I'm going to map it to the top That sketch should be map mode. Click on it on the two little, uh, three little dots on the, on the right hand side. Map it to the top. That's better. Okay, that. And now I can pad that or uh, pocket it into the object. And I'm going to go for a pocket. So I'm going to got my sketch. Sketch is uh, face is highlighted. Sketch is highlighted. Let's click on the sketch and pocket that. And there we have it pocketed, pocketed into the actual object itself. So that's one way of getting a complex um, path pocketed into an object. Let's just zoom in into this. There we go. So we can see that in there. And we can just select how deep we want this to go. So I'm going to go for... I don't want to go for a meter. Uh, one point two mil. There we go. So that's in there. So that's one way of doing it. In our next video, we'll look at a different way of removing the material from the base. So first, we'll create the part again with the spiral, and this time we'll actually attach a profile to the spiral which will be allow us to actually sweep the profile through the spiral and give a circular cross-section to our part. 
that part will be then used on the actual base material, our base pad, with a boolean operation. And I'll take you through the boolean operation. And what we'll do is we'll add the spiral to the actual base pad and then use a boolean cut on there to actually remove the material from the base. And that will leave us with a more curve-defined curve cut through the actual material. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.